Six the Detroit Firefighters Union demanding action after a terrifying fire. Four firefighters found themselves trapped in a burning building only on seven tonight. The chilling dispatch recording and a big question. Does something need to be changed to protect our firefighters? Seven Action News reporter Kim Russell is live on Detroit's east side where this happened. Kim. Yes, you can see the wreckage of a building that remains after this fire. The union says firefighters lives were put unnecessarily at risk. I went to headquarters to ask tough questions. Everyone inside, back it up. It only took minutes for the chief on scene to make the call. The fire in this old grocery store too dangerous. Everyone needed to get out right away. But soon he realizes four firefighters are missing and calls for backup. Second alarm, second alarm, fire. I have company strapped in the building. C6, I have company strapped in the building. This incident right here, we are very, very fortunate we didn't lose some of our members. Detroit Firefighters Union President Mike Nevin says three firefighters are now off the job recovering from non-life-threatening burns. But they got lucky their fellow firefighters found them. I said the bull stops now. Stop. Tell the truth. We are undermanned, understaffed. He's complaining about manpower, the fact every firefighter didn't have their radio, Mayday. and the fact no one called out Mayday to ensure the radio was cleared for the search. We don't have a Mayday policy. We don't even know how to implement it. It's a ridiculous accusation. We do have a Mayday policy. Um, the appropriate number of people uh, and apparatus were dispatched on the initial dispatch. Fire Chief Robert Distelrath says this is the station's Mayday policy. And he said any firefighter who felt their life was at risk has been assigned a radio with a Mayday button. This is a picture of a meeting that happened today for firefighters involved in the incident to make sure everyone learns how to be as safe as possible. It's, it's very important to us that every firefighter have a radio because it is a safety issue. We're asking for help. I'm calling 911 to you. Call the mayor's office. Put pressure on these people. We need pre-bankruptcy cuts restored. We need training. We need help. So clearly there is stress in the relationship between the union and administration with the union complaining there's no Mayday policy. The administration saying, you know what, here it is right here. Clearly there is one. So what can we all take away from this? We want firefighters safe and some senior firefighting officials not authorized to go on camera say the department just recently provided radios for all firefighters and maybe everyone needs to start using them for every fire because we have seen this happen in other cities where firefighters lives are put at risk when they don't have radios. One takeaway, maybe everyone can learn from this very dangerous situation. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, thank you for the update there. Uh,